Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Rai Mehta bringing you another video today on tone curves. Now the reason I wanted to do a video on this is because I think tone curves is one of the most important tools when it comes to photo editing. And I see people all the time, they kind of don't use it at all. And I understand it can get kind of daunting, especially when there's a graph involved. It seems so much more technical, right? Especially compared to the sliders in Lightroom or Adobe Camera Raw with your highlights, your shadows, and your exposure. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split this video into two bits. First, I'm gonna define what is it that Tone Curves does and how to use it, and then we're gonna get to the grading part. So without wasting any more of your time, let's just jump right into it. So this is essentially how your Tone Curves panel is supposed to look like. I'm just gonna close this and show you how we open this. If you come here, click the adjustment, curves adjustment, and this is what you're gonna get. Now essentially your graph looks exactly like a histogram. Just to recap of what a histogram is, basically if you look at this image. This is a graphical representation of the same. This is your blacks and your shadows, as you can see over here. Then you have your 50% gray, which are basically your midtones, and then you have your extreme whites and highlights. As you can see in this particular image, that there is nothing that's super black or like extremely dark except this particular area, and that is exactly why you have such less data in your extreme blacks and shadows. The same thing goes with the highlights as you can see they're properly exposed there's nothing going completely overblown and that's why the data over here is also not at the extreme end and it's fairly controllable as you can see because the image is exposed nicely most of the values lie in the midtones and this is what you're gonna get now before we dive into this again I just want to give you a quick understanding of how the tone curves works so now if you see this oops this is essentially what your image is going to look like. When you take a photo, there's always transition of colors, whether it's your skin tones, your shadows, uh, you obviously don't have sharp edges. As you can see, it's changing from your blacks and shadows, so essentially your extreme left of the tone curve, then you have your 50% gray and your whites and highlights. Now, if I'm gonna take the midpoint, which is essentially the gray area, and if I bring it quite down you can see I've basically pushed the shadows I've darkened the overall image however what the tone curves does because it does it in a relative way it still managed to keep this transition as much as it can and this goes back to what I was saying earlier when you use tone curves you get like a more transitional edit which makes it look more smoother and nicer now if I go back if I bring this all the way down what I'm basically doing is I'm turning the grays and the whites into black and the same thing would go for extreme highlights. And this is how your tone curves works. Okay, so that was a very quick recap on how exactly this tone curves work. Of course, I could have gone in a lot more depth, but let's just not get too technical over here. Now, let's get into the retouching part. So the first thing what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a new curves there just in case I did something over there and I'm going to add a bit of contrast to the image I'm gonna go here and I'm just gonna bump up the exposure a tad bit don't want to go too crazy with it because I know the highlight is getting a bit strong over here I'm just gonna relatively bring it down and I want a little more punch to the shot so I'm just gonna add a bit of contrast <coughs> that looks good so that is your contrast so the next thing that we're gonna edit is the colors of the leaves in the bouquet so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click a curves panel again we're gonna do it with my favorite tool called the color range now the reason I like using this tool is this does it in a more precise way it picks those color values from anywhere in the image unlike the quick selection which kind of selects everything but you'll you will get what I mean so I'm gonna click the greens over here that looks good I'm just gonna bring the range down a little bit of the fuzziness down and that looks good you can see it's mostly selected the greens and the leaves and then I'm going to click OK. What it has done is that's the only part that's selected on the mask. So now anything I do over here will only affect the leaves. So I'm going to give it 
a bit more color depth what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a bit of warmth as you know blue and yellow are on the opposite ends of spectrum so if I bring this down this goes yellow if I go this up it goes blue so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the blue curve quite down just to add like a bit of warmth to the shot that looks good and I'm gonna add a bit of green to it just by dropping it there maybe I can ease up on the green yeah that looks good I know it looks a little oversaturated but we'll come to that later that looks good now what I want to do is I want to fix her skin tones I feel there's a little too much red in her skin so what I'm gonna do is again I'm gonna open a curves layer color range I'm gonna select as you can see even though her skin would have been classified into one color there are different shades but I'm just gonna stick with mostly the red part of her skin I'm gonna click OK and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go to the red curve and I'm just gonna bring it down to add a bit of green to neutralize her skin tones that looks good this is how it looked before you can see it looks quite red and after small differences is what photo editing is all about so that's good her skin tones look nice now I'm gonna add a bit more punch to the bench I want to create a bit more color contrast over there so what I'm gonna do again curves color range I'm gonna select the bench okay that looks good I want to basically make this wood more brown more chocolate brown if I may so I'm gonna bump up the reds a bit more I'm gonna add a bit of warmth to it and maybe just darken the shadows yeah I think that looks good this is how it looked before after as you can see there's a tinge of green and yellow coming here which I do not like so I'm just gonna mask it out that looks good so now the last thing that we want to do is we want to add an overall grade to the shot so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my curves adjustment layer I'm gonna go to the blue I'm gonna add a lot to the shadows and I'm gonna add a bit of warmth to the overall shot that looks good I'm liking how it's going so far just to add a bit more punch I'm gonna add an overall contrast invert this mask and do micro adjustments wherever I want it so I'm gonna reduce a bit of and lastly I'm just gonna add a little bit of a like sunlight sort of an effect I'm just gonna raise this slightly turn the blend mode to screen screen just makes it like super light and I'm gonna mask a bit of light over there so this is how the image looked before and after before and after as you can see the image kind of looked monotone the contrast between the bench and her skin tones wasn't that much the greens kind of looked boring but over here we've created like a nice color grade and nice color contrast and that's about it that was a quick in-depth tutorial on tone curves if you liked anything i said in this video please subscribe to my channel drop me a comment i did not want to go into so much detail where it becomes just like super technical and long for no reason so thank you for watching and i shall see you guys next time take care